Hi, everyone. Okay. during my BOGO sale. So I am hoping that this goes better this evening for my day two of my five fabulous days of catalog kickoff fun. Okay, it tells me I am live and I believe Facebook when it tells me I'm live. I see a few people popping on here. I do not see any comments yet. That's where the issue was last night was in the comments. So I am hoping that Facebook gets that fixed. I am able to scroll, but not seeing any comments yet. So as you're popping on, say hello. I love to interact with all of you. I love it when you tell me where you're from. That's like my favorite thing to do is go through and um, read your comments after my live. I am not usually live at this time. Um, I'm usually live on Monday evenings. Hi, Jackie. Okay, the first comment is coming through. And Sue, hi there. Okay, good, good, good. Super excited. I am seeing your comments tonight. I was really having issues with that last night, and I sure was nervous. <laughs> live is a new thing for me. I am typically live every Monday for my Make It Monday at 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. But I am doing something a little bit different this week for the catalog kickoff. I am going live five days in a row. Today is day two and showing you all sorts of inspiration with new products from the catalog. So I'm really excited to share with you what I've been doing. Hi, Julie. Welcome. Um, some of you may be new to me because I'm not usually on this time. Uh, welcome to all of you. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Rose Grunewald. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. You can think of me like your creative coach. I'm super passionate about being creative and stamping and paper crafting. <clears throat> and I love to share my creativity with, creativity with others and help them to be creative too. Hi, Sarah. Hope you're doing well. Long time no see. Tonight, I am stamping with the Beauty of the Earth Suite, and I have got a magic slider card for you. So super excited to show you. away prizes each day for um, those who comment like, and share my post from the day before. But to share the post, you need to use a hashtag. And that hashtag is country cards by Rose Live. Now I've been using those on my Make It Monday and I've been seeing a lot of people sharing the video but not doing the hashtag right. So I took a moment to do a little screenshot for you of what you need to do when you're sharing a video. When you share the post, you have the opportunity to type a hashtag in the post. And so that blue highlight on my screen is what you need to type to be eligible to win my prize drawing. Hi, Cindy, welcome. So that hashtag country cards by Rose Live is the hashtag that you need to use when you're sharing the post to be eligible for the drawing. Um, I see a lot of people were posting it in the comments last week, which didn't make them eligible because Stampin' Up! or Facebook, I should say, changed some security settings. And I can't, I can't tell when you're sharing unless you're using that hashtag. Now, this is a screenshot from my desktop computer. So for those of you watching on a laptop or desktop computer, this is what it'll look like. As you're sharing your video, then um, you have the opportunity to type it like a post where you can type words up above it. And that's where that hashtag goes, country cards by Rose Live. You have to use that. Ears off long enough. So I'm gonna flip my camera. 
sing the beauty of the earth suite and i before i get quickly i've got an ordering special going on so when you order from my online store using my uh, host code which you'll see at the top when i flip my screen again you'll get a free embellishment when you spend 50 bucks and when you spend 100 you'll get a free embellishment and a half a pack of designer series paper from the new catalog so that is a great deal and the host code that you'll use is right up here in the corner that's the one that is active right now and then i'm reminding you right down here in the bottom corner of the hashtag to use when you share the video all right we are stamping with the beauty of the earth i'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see this a little bit better we're gonna be stamping with our Beauty of the Earth suite. So this suite comes with the bundle and the pretty paper. And then I was playing around with the embellishments and the ribbon. I can see that um, it's gonna coordinate with tons and tons of stuff. There's a new embossing folder that hasn't arrived. have it on order that's coming. And of course you can see in these pictures they've used um, some braided baker's twine. Uh, that's a really cool idea. And um, some kind of burlap ribbon here. I can't remember what that's called. Lots of beautiful things that you can make with this. And tonight we're making a magic slider card. So I'm really, really looking forward to sharing this technique with you. Welcome, Paula. Better late than never, right? Okay, so tonight we're going to use the stamp set. I'm not using the dies with tonight's project, but I have a project for next week that I will be sharing that does use the dies. We're also going to use our rectangle stitched framelits and, of course, our designer series paper. Look at all of this stuff. I have to decide what colors I want to use. So. These papers are absolutely stunning. I love this one. This I've, you can see I've been playing around with it. Actually, this is the piece I think we're gonna use. Um, so you can see these beautiful, beautiful images. Look at this one. Aren't those colors absolutely gorgeous? Love it. image, another of our trees. Here's the full 12 by 12 piece. So pretty, look at this stuff. Oh my gosh, these colors are amazing. And the clouds, some leaves. These kind of look like ferns. I love this one. Our um, misty moonlight with those pine trees. I can see a Christmas card for this one. Some beautiful fall foliage here. And what's our last one? Uh, brush strokes of different shades of green. And then some of these little trees. So it's a little idea of our uh, designer series paper here. I think this piece will be big enough, but not entirely sure. So I'm gonna grab out two of those pieces this little one just in case <clears throat> and um, I decided I want to I'm gonna pair this with mossy meadow so I've got a piece of mossy meadow here and some basic white okay, um, a standard card base. We're just going to cut this in half. And Carol, you guys have in your post when you share my video to be eligible for the prize drawing. Just letting you know. <clears throat> Hi, Joan. Welcome. Hi, Kay. <clears throat> Okay, so I just cut my DSP or my um, cardstock in half. 
that's how simple our card base is here. And because we're, um, we've got a, a short card base, not a tall one, I don't need to score it. So I'm just gonna fold this in half and use my trusty bone folder to get that nice tight crease so that our card base stays closed. I'm gonna crack my window a little bit. It's so beautiful outside. We finally have some gorgeous, gorgeous spring weather. I've had our um, windows open all day. I've been catching up on so much stuff. Our refrigerator went out on us, oh my goodness, like a month ago. And um, we finally got it fixed. So I did some grocery shopping today and bought tons. You know, we were living out of like a little mini fridge and it is super hard to keep produce and fruit in a little mini fridge on hand. So I was super excited to go shopping for that produce and fruit. Okay, I'm going to do some die cutting here next. And I've got two of the stitched rectangles from the rectangle, rectangle stitch framelit dies. I'm using the largest rectangle, and then it would be the fourth smallest. So I'm counting from the middle, one, two, three, four, and it's the fourth one out. Of course, you can use whatever size you like, but this is the size that I think will work good for this. Oh, perfect. I wasn't sure if this piece would be big enough, and it looks like it is. So let me get out my embossing machine, my big boss here. And what I'm going to do is die cut uh, both of these pieces at the same time. So I'm going to line this up. I don't want to waste, so I'm getting as close to the edge as I can here. And then this smaller die I want in the center. So I'm doing my best to eyeball that to get this in the center. Let's see here. Okay, let's get our Big Boss ready here. Hi, Joanne. I know it's strange for a lot of you seeing me on a Sunday night, but I'm doing a lot of stamping with you this week. So make sure you're tuning in at seven o'clock every night. Move this out of the way. Uh, one other thing I want to remind you of is today is the last day for my color and contour class to go. So um, if you love the work I do, you will absolutely love my classes to go. And you can snag that on my website, www.rosegrunewald.com. And across the top, you'll see a link called Classes to Go and you can fill out the pre-order form there. Oh, it looks like I am having technical difficulties. People going live, so unfortunately, I think we're just gonna have to suffer through it tonight. When that happens is to turn off my live and try to pop back on again. And the problem is that um, I lose half of you because then you can't find my live again. And then it doesn't seem to fix the problem anyway. So hopefully Facebook figures out whatever issues they have going on soon. Okay. I've got a piece of basic white here. So that's the next thing we're gonna do is cut our layer of basic white. And I got a little cheat sheet here, what size I need. This is going to be three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. 
So on our little trimmer, remember the, we have our big lines and then all these lines going down match up with our quarter inch marks. And the eighth inch is the one right in the middle between each of the quarter inch marks. So four and seven eighths is gonna be here right before the five inches. And then we have to go three and five eighths which is just a little bit bigger than three and a half. All right, now, when we cut this, the reason I picked this size is I measured this little frame. Let me move my trimmer out of the way. I measured this frame and this piece of basic white is going to go right behind it. So I want to be careful that this piece of basic white is not any bigger than my frame. So that's how I determined what size I needed for my frame. Hopefully that's helpful for those of you who want to make this card. Okay, now what we're going to end up doing is adhering this piece of white right to our card front in the center, like so. So we are still going to have pretty even lines all around, and this is going to go over the top like that. Okay, we need to do some stamping. So let me grab my mat here. And this is a two-step stamp set, The Beauty of Friendship. There's 13 stamps in here. Um, today we're going to be using the tree trunk and branches, and then these two kind of uh, bunches of leaves. And like I said, these are two-step stamps. So we stamp one, and then you can stamp the detail over the top of it. And of course, you have it for the larger tree trunk as well. And then we have some sentiment. So Thinking of you, I believe in you, hello, you truly inspire me, you've got some ground here. Thank you, and I love this one, friendships refresh the soul. I really like those mixed font sentiments. So my favorite, this is a photopolymer stamp set. So you can see right through it for that two-step stamping. Okay, and I'm gonna mount these tree top tufts. I've got my um, detailed one here and my bushy one here. I'm mounting these on a D block. Now, I know for sure I'm gonna want mossy meadow for my, whoops. Of leaves. Um, and for the last detail leaves, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab my old olive here, and that's what we will use for kind of the thicker, less detailed portion. All right, now what I'm going to do is flip this over and I'm gonna center it right on the back of our layer. I'm gonna grab some post-it notes so that I can keep this in place. Of course, as soon as I pick it up, it moves. So let's try this again. And the reason we wanna keep this in place is we're gonna do some stamping through our little window and I want everything to be centered. So this is what I do to help keep it in place. My gosh, it's absolutely gorgeous. 
had a cookout with um, John's family. He was helping uh, his sister with some concrete work, and we went over there and had a wonderful cookout. I would love to hear what you did on this gorgeous spring day. Okay, so first we're coming in our old olive with our tree top here. Okay, and I am going to do my best to center this. There. And then with my detailed leaves, I don't know if I used the right one. I think I did. Well, we'll find out. I will come in with my mossy meadow. Well, I might have gone the wrong way. It's all right. And I'm just going to stamp over the top of those old olive leaves. Darker tone of green. Get out my handy chamois and clean these right up. This thing is amazing. If you don't have a chamois, you need one because it's like my tool that I absolutely love. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so that is the first stamping we're going to do. And now we can glue this down to our card front. I'm just going to take these post-it notes off. So I know this doesn't look like much yet, but it's going to come together. We're going to glue this down right in the center of our card front. So let me grab my silicone mat here. <laughs> Sue, he loves that skid stir, doesn't he? Oh my goodness. Funny story. Well, it's funny now, but at the time, honestly, I didn't think it was so funny. My husband wanted a skid stir ever since we moved into this house out here in the country. And I just didn't see a need for it. And he asked me, oops, oops, oops. he asked me every single day from the day we moved in here for a skidster. Every single day he asked me. And we would pass skid steers when we were on the road. He'd see one at like a farm or a construction site or you know, someone would be hauling it and he would always make a point to call out that there was this skidster. Oh my goodness, it was so frustrating because I didn't want one and he wanted one. And he asked me about it every single day. Finally, he found one that he liked and we were able to pull the trigger on it. But yeah, every day he asked me about this darn thing and it was really annoying. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna start putting together the magic of this card. And to do that, we need some window sheets. So um, Stampin' Up! window sheets are just these clear kind of glossy um, sheets. You can see them as Kay bought some flowers. It's foggy by her. Oh, interesting, Kay. Very much, I have to be honest with you. Hi, Ju. It's just not really my thing. I used to like it. I don't really like it so much. All right. So... This window sheet, we are going to cut to three inches by four inches. So let me cut this down. And you know, 
what's funny, this doesn't look straight. There we go. Okay. Three inches by four inches. I must have a little bit of ink on myself because I see a little bit of ink on my window sheet. That's okay. You just clean it off with a baby wipe and it should come right off. Let's see if it'll come off with my sleeve. There we go, came off. Okay, now this window sheet, we are going to put behind our frame like this. It's going to get mounted on the back of our frame. And then the window sheet's going to go over the top of our tree here. So I'm actually going to do the gluing first, get this glued down. So I don't want a glue showing up on my um, window. So um, let me think here. I want to do this. So I'm going to glue this down. I'm going to use my seal plus. I was trying to figure out what um, glue I want to use. I'm going to use my seal plus because I really want to make sure this stays really, really well. And of course, I'm using my silicone mat to make sure I don't get glue all over the place. With both the seal and the seal plus, I find it works really, really well if I go pretty slow and light with it. Lisa says, not sure I've caught you before. Where are you located? I am in New Holstein, Wisconsin, Lisa. Thank you for joining me. Glad you could join. Okay, now I'm going to line this up. and glue it down just like this okay now I don't want this to glue onto my sheet just yet but I actually wasn't going to glue the bottom. So, um, this isn't dry yet, so I'm actually just peeling this off. I wish I had an adhesive remover right now, but I do not. I might have to start over here, let's see. Okay, this is already sticky. So what I'm gonna do, I need my paper to slide here. So I'm gonna do a little hack. I'm gonna grab some strips from my Whisper White or Basic White stash. And I am going to glue these over the top of the glue that's sticky. Lisa says her son is looking. Ah, Sharon, where is the rest of the tree? You will see that soon. Good question. It's coming. It's coming. Okay, I don't want this to stick. So I am going to cover up the sticky glue with a little strip of 
of basic white here. And I'm gonna do the same down here. Hi, Kim. Welcome. Okay, so for those of you just joining here at the tail end of my gluing fiasco, my glue is sticking out beyond my window sheet and I need to make sure that it is not too sticky for um, my card to slide through it. So where I have sticky spots, I am covering them up with uh, scraps of basic white that I had. All right, now the rest of the tree is coming up next. So I've got the tree branch or the tree trunk. Where I'm going to put it on the front of my card here. So, and then I'm going to stamp on my window sheet. So, to do this, I need my stays on ink. Let me line this back up in the center, just like that. So I'm going to grab my stays on. Actually, it's going to work a little bit easier if I... I love the smell of stays on. It smells so good. Okay, get that good and inked. And with my layers all centered here, like so, I am going to stamp my tree branch or tree trunk over the top of the leaves that I stamped. And now we have a full tree, just like this. Now I need this off. I'm gonna let that And now we're going to cut our slider. I got a piece of basic white somewhere here. Here we go. And our slider, I'm going to make three by five. And actually, I might make it. I'm going to make it two and seven eighths by five. So two and seven eighths by five inches. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab like yeah, this would work great. Okay, I'm going to grab a, just a scrap that I had cut out of the same matching designer series paper, and I'm going to cut off an inch long strip of this, because this is going to be our pull tab for our slider. So I'm just going to fold that in half, burnish that edge. And so where this is going to go is on our slider here, just so that we can grab it and pull it out of our card like that. So let me get some glue in here. 
and I don't want this to come off, so I'm using my Seal Plus. Hi, Susan, welcome. I didn't want to pay for the Skidster either late, Lisa, so I think that's so funny that you say that because um, I just didn't. I didn't think we needed it, but I will tell you that thing has come in really, really handy. And I think as we continue to do work on our land up north, it's going to just be even more handy every time we have projects. Okay, so I am centering this up. And gluing down. Just like that. Okay, set this aside. I tried to center that. You could also use a piece of ribbon if you. I don't think I got it very centered, but it's a homemade card. It's not going to be perfect, right? All right, now let me grab some. Baker's twine, because you know, I can't have a card without Baker's twine. And we're gonna start gluing down, but um, first I want to wrap and tie a bow. I love me some ribbon on my cards. So I'm just going to wrap this around my um, card front layer. Everything's stamped and our window sheet glued down. Come over here and tie this in a bow. Remember, when I'm using Baker's twine, these thinner ones, I like to tie it in a knot first so it doesn't go anywhere. And then I tie it in a bow from there. It's a sweet, simple little bow. And I will trim these edges off. And I'm going to cut the inside layer and then use a scrap to do our sentiment. So let me just cut my inside layer here first. It's going to be five and a quarter by four. This is the scrap that I think will be the right size. And the sentiment that I want to use is your friendship refreshes the soul. So let me grab that here. Your friendship refreshes the soul. And get out my mossy meadow. And we're gonna stamp this. Now I know that this seems a little, it's gonna come together. We seem a little bit kind of all over the place, but it will be coming together here very shortly. I want to make sure that this piece is really good and dry before I adhere it on. And all these pieces kind of have to happen in a different order. <laughs> all right, I'm going to. So that's one of the things I really like to do is to fussy cut these. And um, punch or die to fit your sentiment. Uh, sometimes it works to um, either split your words apart. I'll do that sometimes or um, just fussy cut around your words. And then you don't need a die. And I've been actually doing that quite a bit lately because 
And some of these, you don't want to go too dye crazy on them. And it's like, you know, what can I do? I think I'll just fussy cut. So who here loves fussy cutting? I kind of find it relaxing. Oops, I cut that off and I should have left it a little longer. So I had a tag to grab. So just fussy cut that sentiment like that. Okay, so we've got all of our pieces here. Whew. And we are about ready to put everything together. I'm just going to quick stamp the inside of this card. So Gonna stamp this tree the off center here. And then I'll do the same. Oh, did I already put these away? Yep, of course I did. We're gonna do our leaves in the same colors. So grab my old olive. And stamp that. And then for the more detailed, darker leaves, I'm using my Mossy Meadow. Stamp that. Okay. Here we go, putting our card together. So we will glue this on the inside. Get my silicone craft sheet so I don't get glue everywhere. Carol loves fussy cutting. I find it really relaxing, like an adult coloring book almost. Okay. And the inside we go with our inside card layer. Okay, so here's the moment we've all been waiting for. How the heck are we? Next, I don't know why I put this away, we are going to glue down our window sheet layer. And so I'm going to glue all my sides except the bottom. I do not want to glue the bottom. So I'm gluing on the very, very outside edges. Okay. And then we are going to center this over the top. Just like this. Okay, so our bottom is open. As you can see, our bottom still has this opening. And now we're going to slide our slider in here. I made this a little too long. That's OK. Just like that. Okay. Okay, so we've got a barren tree. And let me grab my dimensionals. I'm going to pop up my words here that I fussy cut. right near my bow. 
So here we have our sentiment and our card, our barren tree that says your friendship refreshes the soul. And as we pull our slider out, you can see our tree get some colorful leaves on it, just like this. What do you think? Do you love that? Isn't that cool? Our magic slider. And this is glued down just tight enough that this doesn't really go anywhere. Do you love it? Pretty neat. And then on the inside, we have our tree. And of course, we can write our sentiment. And we have our finished card. We could bling it up. Of course, we can bling it up if we want to. I think I'll use some of these new elegant faceted gems. I haven't used these yet. So let's see how these will look. Let's zoom in just a little bit here. All right. So I'm just going to put some of these clear ones on. And I'll do one more down here. Now we got some bling on our card too. So there we have it. Your friendship refreshes the soul and our tree goes from barren to barren leaves. Love it. All right. Um, here's my demo card that I made on cinnamon cider. So you kind of get. glue the bottom anywhere so this one does slide a little bit easier but either way it works <clears throat> just like this isn't that neat absolutely love it and of course you can do this with colors for fall um for fall foliage that would work really awesome too so thank you for joining. Oh, thank you for all of the compliments. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad that you love this project. So glad. This is the absolutely perfect stamp set for doing this with. Okay, just a reminder, if you're looking to buy new loot from the, or from the big catalog, I've got an ordering special going on just for my five days that I'll be live. I'll be live tomorrow. Um, Tuesday and Wednesday at 7 Central, when you spend 50 bucks, you get a free embellishment. When you spend 100, you get a free embellishment and a half a pack DS. At 7, um, I am not sure which bundle I'll use, but I got some Gord's cards ready for you. I think I'm going to do, um, I will do a flap card. I can't remember what it's called, but we'll do a fun fold tomorrow night. How about that? Um, you absolutely will love it. I will see you real soon. And um, make sure if you're watching the replay that you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can catch all these videos in case you're not able to catch them live. All right. Thanks so much for joining. Have a great rest of your evening, everyone. I will be stamping with you soon. Bye.